In this video, I'm gonna show you how to target people who reach a specific page on your website using the Facebook ad platform. Hi, my name is John Tanner, CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College. This video is part of a series where we take you through building a basic landing page uh, with a content offer, say a free ebook, installing the Facebook pixel on it, your base Facebook pixel, and then developing what's called a thank you page, which is the page that is shown immediately after someone completes the action that you want them to take on the, la on the original landing page. So the example we've got is Online Art Store. Um, Online Art Store offered a free ebook. That was their content offer. People enter their email address and their name, and then the next page that they see is the thanks for downloading page. This is what's called a thank you page. And in the previous video, what we did is we created this thank you page and we installed a uh, what's called a custom conversion on there. And we tested that it was working using the Facebook Pixel Helper. So this video is really all about bringing it all together. So why have we done this? You know, why have we, you know, um, installed the base pixel on this particular page and then created this thank you page and tracked it using the Facebook pixel and also created a custom conversion. Well, the reason that we do that is because we now want to be able to target people who have reached this particular page in the Facebook ad platform. Additionally, we want to optimize the ad delivery so that Facebook finds more people like those who are reaching this particular page. Because the only people that can reach this particular page are those who have downloaded our ebook. So I'm gonna jump back into the, uh, the, the, the Facebook ad platform and just kind of show you exactly how you can now use what you've done with the previous two videos, developing the landing page and then also the thank you page and show you how you're going to target these people in the Facebook ad platform. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to create different campaigns for different buyer stages. So someone who reaches your web page or any web page, any page on your website or any landing page that you build, they're most likely gonna be in the consideration stage. They're not gonna be in the awareness stage. You don't need to spend money on people who have already visited one of your web assets, whether it's your web page, uh, website page or landing page. And the reason being is that they're already aware of your brand, like they know who you are if they've visited one of your websites. So therefore they're most likely at the consideration stage. Now anyone who then moves on to this particular page is most likely at the decision stage. And that's because they've given you their email address, uh, they've most likely read your content offer, which is your valuable ebook, you know, 20 page guide to designing a modern and stylish home office. And they've also probably now started receiving emails from you in the form of email campaigns or potentially an email sequence, a series of emails that you set up to send automatically to predefined, in, in a predefined sequence. Okay, so ultimately deciding what pages represent what different buyer stages is up to you. But in a lot of cases, this is what businesses do. People that visit any type of website is in the consideration stage. And then once people have given their email address, they're now in the decision stage. And the reason why you wanna put people into different buyer stages is pretty clear. You're, you wanna tailor your ad message to people based on what buyer stage they're in. Because if you talk to everyone the same, it's gonna be far less effective than if you talk to people who have different mindsets. And people that potentially come to this page but don't download, your goal is probably to bring them back to get them to do that or offer them something else of value to try and get them into your email list. Whereas once people are in here, they know who you are and you've really just got to, your ad message is really now about trying to compel them to take the action that you want. Maybe that action is to buy a product. However, you know, everyone has a different objective. Uh, if you're uh, use, if you're a car salesman, you know, it might be to get people to book a test drive. If you've got a mobile app, it's getting people to download that app. If you're a business that requires people to have some type of teleconsult, maybe it's to get, give you a call, right? So you decide what action you want um, people to take at the decision stage. Ultimately, that's up to you. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So now what we want to do, if we come back into the ads manager, we're going to create a new campaign. And I'm gonna show you two different things here. Um, the first is how to target people. If all you wanna do is just target people who have reached this particular page, you select your objective. I'll just select uh, traffic in this particular instance. Okay, 
and we'll call this a decision. So I always recommend that you call your campaigns after the buyer stage that they are, uh, the, the buyer stage that you're creating the campaign for. Uh, we'll leave everything else here. We'll, we'll just jump straight into the ad set level, okay? So as you come down to here, what we can do if we go down to the audience section is we can now create a new custom audience, okay? So we can create a new custom audience from your sources. So we select website, click next, and now you can see that the pixel is here. Now, if your pixel is not appearing here, it's most likely because in business settings, you haven't yet, so I'll just quickly jump into there now. I won't be able to, but I'll, I'll jump into here afterwards. Most likely it's because you haven't allocated your pixel to your ad account. That's most commonly why the pixel won't appear, but you can see the pixel is appearing and it's a green light, which means it's working. Now, normally when you're doing a custom audience, you might select all website visitors, but there is the option here to select people who have visited specific pages. So you can do that. And then you can look at the maximum number of days that you want to target these people. And you see here when you hover over these eyes, these little eyes are really, really great. They give you hints the whole way as you're working your way through the ad platform. The maximum amount of time that you can select in this particular instance is 100, 180 days. It's really up to you to decide what strategy you want to employ. So here you've got 180 days, we'll set the maximum. And then you have URL, right? So there are, um, oh, in this particular case, you can only select URL. And you can decide whether or not it's URL contains, doesn't contain, or equals. So you may use the word uh, contains, for example, if you've built a series of pages all with the same uh, word in it. So it might be, you know, online art store, for example. And then it will pick up any URL that you have that uses those that exact text that's there. But in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to select equals. And then we're going to jump back into our thank you page click on the URL, right click, copy, jump back into Ad Manager, and then paste the URL there, okay? And then you can further refine it if you want, which I, I, I won't do here, um, include, exclude certain people if you want, but I'm gonna call this audience, uh, you know, your ebook thank you page, okay? And if you want to, you can add some additional text in here if you like. And then you can create that audience. So once that's done, you'll get this green tick, which is great. And you'll see now that this particular campaign is targeting people who visited this page. Whereas your ad to people here might be something different, might be trying to promote your ebook. You might be running an ad to get people to promote your ebook because you want to build your email list. Your ad to people who have reached this page might be, hey, you know, get 10% off your first online purchase or something like that, whatever you decide you want to do. So just because we've created this custom audience though, doesn't necessarily mean that the uh, Facebook ad platform will optimize ad delivery uh, to people who have reached this in the past, okay? And what I mean by that is the Facebook ad algorithm is very intelligent. You know, it knows what you are trying to achieve. It knows that people that reach this particular page are the type of people that you want to target. And so you can ask the ad platform to optimize ad delivery to people most like those other people that have already made it to this page. So it's really, really amazing technology when you think about it. Um, it's gonna, it knows that this is the action that you want. It, wants, it knows that you want people to get to this particular page and it will therefore do everything in its power to serve ads to people most likely to reach this particular page, knowing that this page can only be reached because people entered their contact details here. If you wanna do this, so we're only targeting people here that have reached this page, but if you wanna optimize for ad delivery, what you need to do is at the campaign level, you need to have an objective of conversions, okay? So we're gonna select the conversions objective. That's, that's our objective now, because if you recall in the previous video, we created a custom conversion. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and optimize for that custom conversion. I'll click through and next. Now, the challenge that we have here is that we're basing 
the exercise, this demonstration uh, using MailChimp. And the reason we've used MailChimp is because they are one of the few or really the only major uh, landing page builder left that doesn't charge you any money um, in order to install a Facebook pixel. Even WordPress, you need a paid subscription. Uh, even their base, you know, it's not too expensive. It's, I think it's around $20 or something like that in order to install the Facebook pixel. MailChimp is, is one of the very few that allows you to install the pixel for free. However, when you are wanting to um, use the campaign, uh, the conversions objective, at the campaign level, when you're wanting to use the conversions objective, um, you, you need to make sure that the custom conversion that you've set up, and if you watch the previous video, we set up a custom conversion here, um, is on a domain that you own, okay? If you don't own the domain, so this because this is a free account for MailChimp, it's actually MailChimp's domain, and therefore we can't go through and optimize the ad delivery for this because it's not on our domain. Okay, so it's really, really important that you understand that, that you need to be using this. Now, um, on most of the major website builders or landing page builders, you can um, assign your domain and therefore be able to do this. But in this particular instance, because we are using the free uh, version of MailChimp, we won't be able to do it. And that's why when you come through here, the pixel is not, just move my head out of the way, um, you can see here what it's asking is that this pixel has no events set up on any of your domains to continue to use this pixel for conversion events in the future. Edit your domain settings in Event Manager. Okay, but that's what you do. You'd select uh, you'd select the pixel there, and then once you've done that, um, you would actually choose the event. And you see the event is here. This is the custom conversion event that we selected uh, that we created on this thank you page. And so you would select it there. And now what's going to happen is that if this was our own domain, right? And I'm going to quickly show you guys in settings where you can go and do this. If this was your domain, what's now going to happen is not only are you going to be able to target people like we did with the previous example where we had the traffic objective and we just created that custom audience, not only here, what we will be able to do is to target those people and make sure that we optimize ad delivery to people most likely to reach this particular page. So re really, really powerful stuff. Okay, so that's the conversion objective. I'll just quickly jump in, uh, guys, and show you um, in here um, two things. Uh, you're gonna jump into business settings. Okay, so if your pixel is not appearing, often it's because you haven't assigned your pixel to um, so if you scroll down here, you haven't assigned your pixel to your ad account. So if you click down here on data sources, click on pixels, you'll see your pixel appears here. And then you have to add, pixel is like an asset, like an ad account is an asset. So we have to select your pixel and then click add assets. And you have to make sure that you assign it to your ad account because ad accounts sit under your business, um, your business ID. So you need to make sure that you assign your pixel to your ad account and then you will see your, your pixel appear when you're going through Ads Manager and setting up your campaign. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Uh, the second thing is if you scroll down here under brand safety uh, domains, okay? So what you need to do in order to optimize for a custom conversion event, remember we installed, we created a custom conversion on here and our goal now is to try and optimize for that you have to first verify your domain and you're gonna do that under here, under domains, right? So you will click here, add your domain that you have control over. And then once you've done that, you will then be able to optimize your ad campaigns for delivery of that. Hopefully you guys uh, got a lot, of, lot out of today. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I do encourage you to provide a lot more context to this video. But as you can see, it's a little bit technical, it can be a little bit challenging and hard to wrap your head around. But if you do, the returns that you can generate as a result of this are gonna be so much higher because you're starting to really tailor message to people in different buyer stages. And the, one of the key exercises you need to do as an advertiser is work out pretty much for every single web page that you have, web, website page or landing page, what buyer stage are people in when they visit this particular page. And if you start to do that, you go through because when you're in uh, the Facebook ad platform, 
you can target lots and lots of custom audiences. You, you know, you can stack them on top of each other, which is really, really great. You don't just need to target just people who visited this page. You might target people who visited this page and people who visited the homepage of your website and people that visited the about section of your website. Whereas at the decision stage, you might choose to visit uh, target people who visited your checkout page and people who visited this page and people that visited that page. You get the idea, okay? So if you get your head around this, uh, understand what, what's being done here and why, you will be able to generate a much higher return because you're tailoring your ad message to people in the different buyer stages. Ultimately, will lead to higher conversions, more people taking the action that you want them to take. Thanks so much. If you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with any of your friends. And of course, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to get notified when we release, as soon as we release any great tutorials like this, as well, as well as a bunch of other great blog content, which you will find incredibly useful as a social media marketer. Thanks so much for stopping by. My name again is John Tanner, CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College, and I will see you in the next video.